Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Oremo 1500 watt PTC fan heater. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So on the side here, it says three second fast heating, whisper quiet heating, multiple safety protection, energy saving with eco, 70 degree widespread oscillation, far reaching and all around. So I'll get this open. Okay, so I got the heater out. I'll pull the plastic off the front. It has a warranty card, comes with a remote and a manual. Let's take a quick look at it. So you want to read through the manual so you can know all the safety precautions. Here we have a diagram here. We have the control panel on the top, air outlet and a base. It has a handle on the back with the air inlet and the power cord and plug. The remote takes a CR2025 battery and it already has one in it. And here are the specs. So this is a 1500 watt heater. It runs at 900 watts on low. And here we have the display. So it has a sleep mode. It has high, low and eco mode. So it's temperature time. So when it says time, I'm thinking that's the sleep timer. It has oscillation, power indicator, on off timer. This talks about the control panel. And here are more features here. It has tip over protection. It has overheat protection, 24 hour auto power off. So if you do need a heater that will stay on after 24 hours, this may not be the best option for you, but that is a nice safety feature. So if you leave it on and forget to turn it off, it will turn itself off. It has a 60 second auto display off, and then it has a memory function. So it'll go back to the last mode you had it on. And here we have the remote control. This talks about cleaning it, troubleshooting it. Okay, so to activate the remote, I'll pull this out and I'll get this plugged in. So we do have that carry handle on the back. Cord has a protector, I'll pull that off. So the cord is around six foot in length. So I'm going to get this plugged in. So you should not plug a heater into an extension cord. That being said, right now, I'm going to plug it into an extension cord. I'm only doing it for my demonstration and I'm not going to leave it here. I'm just doing so because I have a power meter here plugged into it and I want to read it. But when you're using this and any other heater, you want to plug it directly into the wall. So I'll plug that in here. It's currently drawing about 0.3 watts. So it does take a little bit of electricity when it's plugged in. Even over a long period of time, that's not going to add up to much. So we can turn it on with the remote or the controls on the top. It has touch control, so I'll hit on. And now we're on and it's set to 95 degrees. So I feel heat already. Now this is a PTC heater. That stands for positive temperature coefficient. So that makes it very safe, gives it very even heat. So we're at 95 and it's probably hard to see that. Let me zoom in on it. Okay, so we're on the high mode and we're drawing around 1500 watts. It's a little less right now, but it's kind of moving around. I'll tap on the button on the top, which is similar to this middle button. And now we're on low mode and that's drawing around eight, 900 watts. Then I'll hit eco mode. So what the eco mode will do is it will adjust the temperature to high or low depending on the need for heat. So I'll turn that to low for now. Next I'll hit the light bulb button and that will turn off the night light. So there's a little strip of light here. So that can act as a night light. Then I'll hit the little sleep button and this is going to put it into sleep mode. So now the display has turned off and we just see the little moon there and then the beeps will go away. So if I press plus or minus on here, it will not beep. So I'll turn that back off. Then we have the auto timer off. So each time I press that, it will go up. So it goes up from one to 12 hours in one hour increments. So if you want to cancel it, you just hold it down for three seconds and that will cancel the timer mode. So I'm going in the order on the top. The next would be the power. And after that we have plus. So this is for the thermostat. So we're at 95. If I hit it one more time, it's going to go down to 41. So I'll go down. So you can go from 41 to 95 in one degree increments. And then the lastly, we have oscillate. So let's hit that. And now it's going to oscillate back and forth. So this is putting out a very nice even heat right now. So if I want to stop it from oscillating, I can hit oscillate and then I can turn it off. Now you can see it has a countdown timer for 15 seconds. So it's going to blow the fan across those coils instead of shutting them off abruptly. Okay, let's feel what this feels like. Okay. So I'm able to touch the front. Now, I don't recommend you touch the front right after it's been on, but it's just a little bit warm. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It cools off very quickly. Next, let's take a look at this with the thermal camera. Okay, here we have the heater with the thermal camera. We can see it's still hot in the interior. But let's turn it on. So 
So we're on low, let's turn it on high. So you can see the middle is heating up there. If we move to the edges, it's around 80 degrees. Let's look at the back. So the handle's around 70 degrees. Now this has only been running for a minute. You can see it's really heating up on the inside here. Next I'll point it at a wall. So I'm going to let this run for a couple minutes and then we'll come back and look at it. Okay, I've been letting this run and you can see where it's heating the wall is warmer than the surrounding wall. But let's look right in front of it. It's not heating the surface that it's sitting on. So it's really projecting that heat out. Now in the oscillate mode, it will heat a wider area, but needless to say, it will take a little bit longer to do because it's spreading the heat out. So that was a look with the thermal camera, and now let's say the dog tipped it over. Okay, so it started beeping. It says P4 on the thing, and it's just blowing cool air through. And I can confirm that because the power meter says 17 watts. So the fan is on to cool it down, and now it's off. So let's tip it back up, and it stays off, which is what I would want. So that's the Ramo 1500 watt PTC fan heater. If you're looking for a small portable heater, I think that's a great option. It has a very small footprint, and actually I should measure that real quick. So it's about 16 inches high, and the base is a little over six inches across. Using a heater like this can help you save money. If you live in a large house and you only want to heat one small space, you don't have to heat up the entire house. I like that this has the regular and the oscillating modes. So if you're just heating up yourself, you can point it at yourself, but if you're heating up a larger area, you can have it oscillate and it will spread the heat around quicker. And it also has this nice remote. So you could be sitting on your couch watching a movie, you get a little cold, you can turn the heater on, you get a little warm, you can turn it back off. Oftentimes when you turn a heater on, then you go sit where you're going to sit. It may not be at the right temperature for you, but you can adjust it with the remote here from where you're sitting. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.